What's up, guys? So first off, I want to say, <clears throat> don't judge me by the mess. Now, normally, I would like to have shit like this cleaned up before I would start to film. You know, move everything out of the way and fucking get rid of this period stain or diarrhea stain. But um, I'm, I'm just, I just decided, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to upload it while I'm doing the cleaning part. I just wanted to say that, you know, the other day I posted it in the K24 up on Instagram and I was going to kind of tuck it away and not do anything, but the head was already, you know, loose. I just had to do a couple of things to, to break it free. I, a couple of things really just uh, took off the crank pulley. Um, <clears throat> so I mentioned in the video or in the upload the other day that the, the engine was seized. Uh, so I was, you know, it was seized so tight that when I went to go take off the crank bolt, I didn't need to hold anything in place. I just break it with a breaker bar and it came flying, flying loose. Um, so, um, 130% expecting this to be, uh, destroyed inside, inside, because even the, uh, you know, even locked up engines I've had before from spun bearings, they still turned at least a little bit. This thing had zero fucking budge. So, um, I get in here, I get the, the girdle off, you know, I get the, get the girdle off and I'm thinking, okay, now, uh, I can, now that I got the rods free, I can take a better look at it, um, because I'm trying to. Oh, oh, first off, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm lying here. I took the head off outside, and when I took the head off, I saw rust, a whole bunch of rust. Um, let's see. You can still see from the tops of the pistons. Oh, no, you can't because I've done soaked them with WD-40. Anyway, um, uh, rust all up in the cylinders. So I'm like, okay, so maybe that's the reason also why it's having so much problems turning. Uh, it turns out it was. So um, I, get the, I get the fucking the girdle off and out of the way so that way I can... Uh, go ahead and take the crank off the damn rods so that way I can beat the fuck out of the rods to force them through the rust spots. Now, I put WD-40 on top of the cylinders and let it sit for a little bit, but it didn't really do shit at all. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So, um, now the good thing is I'm taking off the, I take off the, the, the girdle and I'm like, fuck, these fucking mains are like mint as shit. They are clean. Now, I, it looks like, like somebody shit everywhere all over this because, like I said, I didn't clean up anything yet. And I and I, I could I would show you the crank, but the lighting back here is so kind of is so bad that I, I doubt you'd really be able to see it very well. Just gotta take my word on it. But uh, the crank was minty as fuck on the mains. And I'm like, well, that's you know, it's if it did spin a bearing, it's not looking like it did spin a bearing because there's zero damage on any of the mains. I've never seen an engine that was spun that didn't have at least some telltale signs of damage, and this had zero signs of damage. As a matter of fact, this had um. This is one of the cleanest engines I've been in a while, despite the fact that it's filthy. So, cranks off. Uh, I take the, um, the rod caps off, so that way I can, um, you know, start to beat it and have them slide through the cylinders, right? So, what I had to do was, uh, my dead blow was not packing anywhere near enough heat to get these out of here, but it's imperative for me to keep the rods healthy. Um, so what I did was I got my really long extension and I packed a bunch of paper towel in the piston around the skirt and I, um, I beat it on the edge, like right, right here. This, as a matter of fact, this piston is the only one that got any kind of damage. You can see there, uh, that's because this is the very last one I was taking out. I kind of got impatient, but it, I beat it up in a, in a spot where it doesn't really matter. So the piston's still good, but all the other ones, you can't even tell that I smacked them. Um, yeah, so did that, beat it out, and dropped out, they did, and I got a good look at the cylinders, and honestly, for as stuck as that was, the cylinders don't even look as bad as I expected them to, now, yeah, it's definitely, definitely rusted up in there, but no, not as bad as I expected it to be, I think the main reason why they jammed up so good is because, uh, you know, two of the cylinders were at top dead center, like, it was right at top dead center, so I think it was just that because where it was at in the, in the turning point, it didn't have the leverage to push forward. Um, so anyway, while I'm so super excited about this, the fact that I don't have to worry about searching for a crank now, and I have the rods that are healthy. So what I plan on doing is uh, I, I've been I, like I'm watching a, a set of Super Tech pistons that are twelve five to one for the K twenty four. I've been watching them for a long time, and uh, and they're like four hundred and change. Now, if I wasn't already committed to obligations to travel and all this shit, whatnot, I would buy them now. But I, I, but I am obligated to other things, so I can't spend four hundred dollars on pistons right at the moment. Um, 
But anyway, the reason why this is just like such a hype moment for me is because uh, the fact that this is going to be in a build, I don't have to worry about, you know, turbo and all that shit. And, um, and I already have a K24A2 head buried on the side over there. So um, K24A2 head on this K24 short block. Uh, K24A4 short block is going to have K24A, uh, uh, K24A4 rods on Supertech 1251 compression pistons. And then I may upgrade cams, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, the goal is uh, 250 horsepower, uh, 250, 240. Um, I don't, I don't want to do it on pump, so 93. Um, now, realistically, time frame speaking, uh, I still I would still have to buy. I guess, so I got to buy the pistons. It's going to be a four hundred dollar investment, and then I got to get a six speed transmission. So that's also going to be an investment. But um, uh, because of the way things are going right now uh, with the projects and everything, it might not it might not be until next year because um, with the next three trips I'm taking, it's gonna those trips are gonna run me all the way to the end of the year because uh, I think. Well, SEMA, I was off by my, my, my time frame when I talked about the other day was off by one week. It's not the end of October going into November. It's the end of the first week of November. So um, I'll be busy all the way up until the end of the year. Uh, but the good thing is, is now, is that even if even if the, I'm going to, you know, because like, like I say, you never know what the condition is until you're 100% free and clear of everything. So um, it's just another like learning moment for shopping tips and shit too because I offered a guy 150 bucks. I figured he'd turn down the offer because the, I'd, th I'd say like a fair price for these would be 250, 300 bucks if they're complete. But it was just a, a bare long block, so I guess 150 wasn't far off from the profit range. And um, so he accepted, and then I finally went to go get it. And then of course there was the issue with it being seized up, and I was like, well, this is, it's a seized engine, man. I'll give you 100 bucks. And then I walked that back right away. I was like, nah, I'll give you 80. It's like if it's if it's blown if it's blown up the only thing good on this is the block itself and that means I still realistically speaking I'm either gonna have to spend 150 dollars on ordering a crank off eBay or I'm gonna have to go out and find another K24 engine and buy that just so I can get the crank out of it so you know just so just being real I was like you know I'm the one accepting the risk of this being fucked up and I won't know until I take it apart but it seems like it is fucked up so you take the offer of the 80 bucks or I'm just gonna leave. And it wasn't like uh, I was being a dick about it. I'm just saying, I have 80, I'll give you. If not, it's okay, man. Not not a big deal. Uh, luckily for me, he accepted. And he, you know, he apologized. I didn't know it was blown or whatever because I don't really know too much about engines. I just, you know, I had it and I didn't need it. I thought I'd make some money off of it. And, you know, so it was cool. And uh, so he got paid. And uh, I had to wrestle this shit. It just took a lot longer to take apart than an uh, engine normally would. But uh, I got I got really lucky, man. Uh, it's healthy. Um even okay, so I'm gonna hone the cylinders most likely not tonight, but um, eventually, sometime in the very near future, I'm gonna hone it. And if it's fucked up and it does, ah, you know, what, it might not even matter if it, if I don't consider them to be too fucked up. I'll probably uh, buy oversized pistons anyway and go ahead and just take it to the machine shop and have it board over. Not a big deal. If uh, if I have to invest another hundred fifty dollars into the block itself, that's you know that's fine. At least that way it's one hundred percent fresh cylinders uh, and. Honestly, I'm probably going to reuse these bearings because these bearings are fucking meant to your shit. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get the pistons. Some well, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm saying I'm not going to get pistons right now because I'm considering coming off my paycheck. But if I make the extra money off of some engine builds or whatnot, then that, that, that changes. Um, so, right now, there was, you know, I, I took apart the other K23. It's already cleaned up and painted and ready for a build. I ordered bearings and rings earlier, so I imagine next week I'll assemble that. Uh, for those of you guys that didn't catch my post, um, it's that, that build is in mind for a sponsorship thing. But be, realistically speaking, can, you know, the guy that I'm thinking about giving it to, I'm pretty sure he's not 100% ready to jump back in, into the Honda world yet. And it would just be, a, a you know, a, a, a mostly bare short block. So you have to piece together everything else he needs. So I'm probably going to reach out to him and tell him to start buying the other things. And I have multiple other K blocks I can give, multiple other cranks. I can do the exact same build. Um, so if I'm, or who knows, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer this to sell this. And it may not even sell. It might just, I might just sit on it. And if I sit on it long term, long enough when he's ready, then that will be the one for him. But um, high compression K28-3, uh, I'm thinking $500 local pickup or $600 shipped anywhere in the continental U.S., all right, so if you're interested in that, um, yeah, so 
I was going to clean this up a little bit and drop it, put it on a little wheel dolly, roll it up under my kitchen table. Uh, my minty ass K20 Z3 block I have, I wrapped up in plastic and stashed. Um, today I got started a lot later than I expected because I woke up really late. Um, but the plan is immediately following this to do uh, the B20 tear down. So the B20 is going to go back on there for me to take it apart. Um, and then the other uh, B20 I have, the other bear one that I was going to sell, uh, sell bear on eBay is outside, you know, having its fresh coat of paint uh, dry on it. And that's going to be the other block I'm going to be using to do the, uh, the second high compression block, high compression B20. And um, that one is not spoken for, so it will be sell, we will be for sale. And I'm thinking uh, I might sell that one for seven or eight hundred dollars. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. So it's still going to be kind of a mark off compared to what my prices would normally be. But um, that that bill's not going to get done for a while because I'm going to have to come out of pocket for buying the pistons and taking it to the machine shop to have the pistons pressed over. So I'm looking at a two hundred dollar investment before I can even assemble that. And I'm going to buy new bearings uh, as well, most likely Kings. So that's another 50 bucks. So it's a $250 investment in that block that I have to make before I can even sell it or before I can even put it together. Uh, so now you see maybe a little bit why the prices are what they are at the end of the day, not counting the labor and everything that I have to do to get everything ready and get it together, but the money I have to spend on parts off rip. All right, so... Um, yeah, um, trying to be productive here. You know, I still have that single cam, and that, that should be a healthy single cam. Um, there's, there, there's, there are things that I can do, and I'm, I'm gonna try and get on it. Hell, honestly, it'd probably be better if I built the damn single cam as a Vitara before I did the B20, because it probably cost me less to put together. Who knows? I don't know. And it'll be a built, uh, like a built, built block. You know, pistons, rods compared to just pistons. Um, anyway, just, just some random ideas I got running through my head. Uh, gonna see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna meet up with my homeboy who has the RSX. And we're gonna go out to eat and maybe see a movie, depending on Game of Thrones start time and the movie start time. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about the RSX a little bit more. Um, uh, plus I have to I have to fix it. some damages got on it real quick. But uh, there's always a possibility that I do that early enough. You know, it's kind of like six o'clock in the morning. I gotta take a shower. So I guess that when I wake up, the first thing I do is go put the wheel studs, the new wheel studs, so I can put that wheel on that shell. And then I'm capable of swapping out shells with him uh, this week. So yeah, busy, 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 busy. A lot of shit going on. This is this spot's kind of making me, me have flashbacks to my old trailer when I first started doing this shit. But the reason why I'm stacked up and overwhelmed right now is because code enforcement came through, and I had to clear out my front porch. And even though I got my tent in the back, it's not a lot of space in there, and it leaks. And I don't know. I just well, the whole plan is that to get your shit torn down, clean up, and stashed as quick as possible so that way I don't have this mess. And the, despite the fact that it looks terrible right now, I'm actually not that far behind. I did I did uh, enough work today where I, can, I, sh I, I can't really complain with my, myself. I should be happy about it. All right, guys, so, you know, just some random talky stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's it for right now. Oh, this this wasn't part of those other videos I said I was going to do. I said I was going to do three more. Um, uh, three uh, three this, video, this week, I only did the one, which is outlining my I flight itineraries for the weekend or for the rest of the year. The other video I want to do is uh, talk about clutches and another one um, about... Oh, about engines on my channel, you know, running engines, because people apparently are having trouble finding my running builds, in it, and they're thinking that I have zero video footage of anything that I've built running on my channel, which is not the fucking case. It's just uh, my builds are few and far between for ones that have been filmed, because people want to see high horsepower shit, and the majority of engines I've done are stock rebuilds that have never gotten tuned or anything, they just drove. So uh, not very exciting. And they're like, oh, stock single cam because I sold like five or six of those. That was my bread and butter go-to for a while before the market dried up and I lost, you know, I couldn't find cranks anymore. All right, so yeah, who knows? Uh, maybe after I take a shower, I'll, I'll spit out that video real quick. I guess it really just depends on how long it's going to take me to clean up this fucking mess back here. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, oh, follow Instagram and all that stuff, social media links down below.